First of all, unzip the attach zip file and extract its files. Once signed in, choose your runtime type and open your project. For this demonstration, I'll select the CPU since Face Fusion can run on both CPU and GPU. Before doing anything, make sure you enabled Show Hidden Files. Next, go ahead to the, the unzipped folder and move the IPNB file to the SageMaker storage. Now, open the IPNB file and start the first cell. It'll install all Conda packages and restart the kernel to run on Conda. But first, you'll need a Civit AI API key where to find it. Go to your Civit AI account Click on settings. Scroll to API keys. Then add API key. Give it a name. Copy and paste your key to the box and click save. Then wait for the cell to finish. Move to the second cell and run it, and wait for it to finish. Go to the Conda folder, drag and drop the setup pi file inside. Then run the third cell. The Face Fusion icon will pop up. Click on it and wait for the Face Fusion to be installed.
run the Xerox cell and check its version, then move to the Ungrok cell and check its version. Go inside the Face Fusion folder, drag and drop SageMaker PY, then click Overwrite. Now run the launcher cell, you'll see three tunnel options, Pingy, Zrok, and Ngrok. Select your favorite, then click Lunch to run Face Fusion. So let's check each one separately for a demonstration. As you can see, our pingy tunnel is ready. Let's click on it to access Face Fusion. We're now on Face Fusion interface. As you can see, it's running on CPU because I've already used the CPU runtime. One's running on the GPU runtime. It'll automatically choose CUDA. Let's stop the pingy tunnel and run it with Zock. Keep in mind that if you need to use Ingrok or Zock, you have to create an account and paste the token into the launcher. Now that our Zerk tunnel is ready, let's click on it to access Face Fusion.
As expected, it is running smoothly on Zruck Tunnel. Let's stop it and test the last tunnel with Ingram. Let's access the Ingra Clink. Perfect, it's working as expected. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.